You're watching KLAS-TV. And this is Channel 8's Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening. I'm Juana Hart in for Paula Francis. And I'm Mark Bradshaw filling in tonight for Gary Waddell. Surprising news for Tamara Money. She went to court to fight doctors who insisted on chemotherapy treatments for her son, Joshua, diagnosed with cancer. Now, as Drew Mickelson reports, a third opinion has revealed the boy never had cancer at all. Joshua is not going to miss those weekly yeah. trips to the doctor. Because they gave me a lot of yucky medicine. Uh -huh. That yucky medicine, chemotherapy, was unnecessary. Good. Back in June, doctors told Josh's mom her son had cancer. And a second opinion from UCLA revealed the same thing. While her son's file was in L.A., another doctor just happened to see it. And then for some reason, there was a doctor there from um, L.A. Orthopedic Hospital. And he saw the biopsy slide in Joshua's records, and he said, uh, I don't think this is cancer. Two specialists on the East Coast agreed. Joshua did not have cancer. They say he had a benign aneurysmal bone cyst. Now his legs don't hurt anymore, and he can do one of his favorite things again, ride his bike. Oh, God, I was just thrilled. <laughs> I knew something was going to happen. I, I knew there was going to be some miracle, and uh, I just I didn't expect it to be this good. <laughs> Call it a mother's instinct, but she never fully believed her son had cancer. I knew in my heart that, that something was, was not the way it was supposed to be because every time they wanted to do chemo, I, I just, something inside me just screamed. It, it was horrible. I, I couldn't do it. The thought of toxic chemotherapy drugs drove her to court last month to try to get alternative types of treatment approved for Joshua. But the judge ordered her to continue the chemotherapy. I don't get to feel sick anymore. But now that he's better, Josh's mom says she's too happy to be mad at anyone. She does hope that the doctors learned something. I hope that they learned that next time that they'll be more careful. And that I hope that this doesn't happen to anyone else. Drew Mickelson, Channel 8, Eyewitness News. Two months of chemotherapy did weaken Josh's bones, but his doctor says the leg should heal itself in about six to eight weeks. That's good to hear. In other news tonight, one of the victims from yesterday's fiery crash on Highway 160 has now been identified. Norman Kiergaard of Las Vegas was one of two people killed in the head-on crash late Tuesday afternoon. The wreck closed down State Route 160 for about four hours. The Highway Patrol says it may never know exactly what happened. Corrupt residents say something needs to be done because so many people use this road. I'd say there's over 20,000 people and probably a good... 15,000 of them work elsewhere, you know, either in Vegas or the test site. Well, it's not enough to require or mandate that a four-lane road be built. Now, we do have plans in the future. Those plans call for sections of the highway to be widened and the, uh, the part that goes through the town to be widened to four lanes. Some road work on I-15 north of Las Vegas is just about done, work that will make travel a bit smoother. The Transportation Department is repaving the freeway, as well as the on and off ramps between the Valley of Fire and Overton. They've been working on this job for the past four months, and at times it's narrowed the freeway down to just one lane. Road crews say this work should keep the highway in good shape for several more years. A gang member who killed a manager at Renato's restaurant last November will spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole. A jury returned the penalty against 20-year-old Ruel Mercado, who was convicted of killing Gerald Serna during a botched robbery. Serna was trying to warn other workers about the robbery when he was killed. The victim's family says they're glad it's over. That when Mercado shot, he was definitely trying to kill my father. I mean, if it went five feet seven inches off the floor, he got what he deserved. Life in prison means he's never going to get out. <laughs> Next month, Mercado will be sentenced on his remaining charges, including robbery and attempted murder. Criminals are getting a break by a new policy that quickly releases some misdemeanor offenders at the Clark County Jail. In an effort to relieve overcrowding, misdemeanor inmates will no longer be kept in jail. With an inmate population over the court-ordered 1,500 limit, the DA and the sheriff see this as the only way to get the inmates off the floor. 
Jail officials also call the current situation a hazard for corrections officers. Certainly, I think that when we crowd people together in a, in a space that's designed uh, to hold less than what we currently have in there, I think it's a breeding ground for problems. Jail officials say the public needs to be assured that there are some exceptions to this new policy. Those arrested for drunk driving, domestic violence, battery, and prostitution will not be released. People tend to think of Boulder City as a small town, but we'd better get used to a different idea. And Sheila Straley tells us why. It's still got just one traffic light and just one major grocery store. Dave Latro's got the only window tint shop in town. And that's the extent of the town right there. But in Boulder City, they feel bigger on this day. I think we probably went from the bottom to the top overnight. In fact, even though only 13,000 people live here, Boulder City has become the largest city in Nevada. Do you want salad cream? The land you're looking at right now is the reason Boulder City became so much larger this week. The city annexed more than 107,000 acres of land into the city limits, giving it the largest geographic area of any other city in the state. Officials say they plan little or no development of the new land, which is south of the old city limits. So, despite its size, Boulder City will remain a small town. To raise our kids like we do, you can walk the streets at night. Voters approved buying the new land. The price, $1.2 million. Oh, buddy. Here's a dead cow. Ray Gomez supports keeping the town small. We are grateful for the size of the town and also the way that the people still come, the tourists. You just simply get accustomed to the quietness and the easiness of the living here. You know. Something Boulder City residents can count on, at least for the time being. See you. Good luck. Come again. Sheila Straley, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Boulder City officials tell us that 80% of the El Dorado Valley land the city bought will be leased to Clark County for desert tortoise habitat. A solar generating plant could be built somewhere on the remaining land. Well, just say wow. Coming up, we'll take you to one of the biggest stores in Las Vegas with a hands-on way of doing business. And a little Chicago hope comes to people in need in tonight's Crackdown on Crime report. I'm Cheryl Wilden from Wilden's Pride Dodge. It's a real scorcher today, so we've heated up the truck deals tonight. We've set aside this entire row of pre-owned trucks for you, and right now, take your pick for only $99.90. Every one of these trucks has been safety checked and is ready to go to work for you tomorrow. So come on down and check them out. Any one of these work trucks for just $99.90. And with prices like these, payments have to be low. Wilden's Cry Dodge, right on price, right on value. Sahara Educator. needs a cellular phone they can count on. But what about your service? Without Sprint Cellular, you're probably losing money every month on your rate plan, plus over 5,000 free minutes of Sunday local airtime. And in a jam, you haven't got 24-hour local customer service to save you. So don't make a choice of service that's less than scientific. Get Sprint Cellular. Right now, we'll save you even more with this 1995 Teletech. You know, Stacy, summer's really starting to get away from us. This could be your last chance to get away on vacation before school starts. Yeah, Stacy, but some of us still have to get to work. Get away now in a 95 Mazda 626 or Protégé. Or if you've got work to do, Mazda's B2300 pickup is the way to go. Take your choice at Jim Marsh for just $229 a month. Hey, Dad, we have customers waiting here. Dad? Last chance for vacation, Stacy. You said it, not me. Jim Marsh, Eastern off Sahara. Time is ticking away and school will be starting up again soon. Clark County is expecting a record number of students again this year, 168,000 to be exact. Elementary students started registering today to help ease last minute hassles. They have until August 25th. Middle school and high school students will receive information in the mail. All new students must have a birth certificate, immunization records and proof of address. 
If you need more information, here's a number to call 799-5304. Why don't some kids graduate from high school? Well, some say they don't study hard enough. Others think Nevada's graduation requirements are too stiff. Right now, a student must earn 23 and a half out of a possible 24 credits to graduate. The principal of the Clark County Juvenile Court Schools, Brandon Waldron, says he supports reducing the number of credits needed. Waldron's comments are part of a survey that will be presented to the State Board of Education next month when the controversial issue of credit reduction comes up again. For teens growing up in urban America, a high school diploma can be the ticket to a better job and a deterrent from a life of crime. In tonight's Crackdown on Crime report, we learn how some people are getting a second chance through education. Standing in the shadows of Chicago are rows and rows of high-rises known as the Robert Taylor Homes. But not far from what some call the worst public housing complex in the world lies an oasis of hope. It's a place where peacocks roam, marketable skills are taught, and a high school principal rules with an iron fist and an open heart. As we say, we may be in the ghetto, but we don't feel the ghetto is in us. Within this environment, DuSable High School opened its Second Chance program, an alternative school for those who dropped out and want to come back to earn a diploma. To find potential students, administrators took to the streets with one main message. If one stays on the street, there's only three things out there for a person on the street. That's jail, prison, or graveyard. There's nothing there. There's no life. The program boasts zero tolerance for drugs, alcohol, gang activity, and poor attendance. Women wear skirts and men wear ties. Credit is only given when students actually master skills. 22-year-old James Johnson is among the program's first three graduates. He made himself and his mother proud. She just kept kissing me the day of graduation. Kept kissing me. With hugs of congratulations come opportunity and hope. This was it. School, getting a diploma, trying to make something out of myself and moving on. This is Jennifer Matthews reporting. With help from disabled staff, James is now working on a resume and hopes to enlist in the Navy. Good for him. I wish him all the best. Still to come, security measures are heightened in the nation's airports. We'll tell you why. But first, Kevin is here with a Thursday forecast. All right, Mark, we've got a cold front sliding into the northwest there. You can see the clouds moving into Oregon. It will have some effect on our weather. We'll tell you how in just a minute. Good evening from Wilden's Pride Dodge. I'm Cheryl Wilden. Have you been looking for an exceptional used car? At Wilden's Pride Dodge, with the popularity of our new cars and trucks, we have over $2 million of pre-owned trade-ins. How about this entire row of safety chests, one owner dependable automobiles? Your choice is $79.90. Not just one or two cars, but this entire row priced at just $79.90 each. And with prices like these, payments have to be low. Wilden's Pride Dodge, right on price, right on value. Sahara Educator. <laughs> you can win $25,000 on our quarter royal both ways only at the horseshoe where the world comes to gamble ever notice how some banks have been adding all kinds of stuff to their checking accounts only to hit you up later with all sorts of fees well, at American Federal Savings Bank, our checking accounts are simple, like our just plain checking account. Simply maintain a minimum balance, and there's no service charge. Now you know why we're the bank that fits. At Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, we have hundreds of beautiful fabrics, but there's only one way to know which will look best. Try them on. Introducing the Lazy Boy Screen Test Video Catalog. Consider it a fitting room for your furniture. Now at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries, you can save on more than a thousand custom order fabrics, which means our furniture can adapt to any surrounding, not to mention any budget. Hurry in and save on all custom orders.
I'm right on. 15 minutes, seven days a week. That's Good job. Right. Tune Good was job. a couple of weeks old. Yeah, well, yeah. We had Creedence Clearwater <laughs> last week. Uh, I, that's more my speed there, but uh, with the CCR. But now that we've gotten into August and the days are shorter, you can turn back the clock a couple of minutes in your lawns. Right, and these warm days are a little bit warmer today than expected. Yeah, right? I, I wish we could turn back these uh, degrees a couple of notches too. The way things are, uh, the way things are stacking up. First, though, we're going to take you way out into the Atlantic. Here's a look at Tropical Storm Felix, who is strengthening. You can see how far away from land he is. If he's going to have any effect on the United States, it won't be until at least Sunday or Monday. And then, of course, we'll have to wait and see what his path is. Right now, he's moving to the west at about 20 miles per hour. The sustained winds are over 50, and to qualify for a hurricane, they have to get up to about 74. Meanwhile, down in the Gulf of Mexico, this is a newly formed tropical depression. You can see Texas and southern Louisiana up here. By tomorrow, we think this will become a tropical storm. The name will be Gabrielle, but it doesn't look like Gabrielle will have a lot of effects on the U.S. other than extreme south Texas and parts of Mexico. We'll go right here coast to coast through Mexico, and some of these clouds on the west coast of Mexico, these are part of tropical storm Flossie, which is drifting to the northwest with her 65 mile per hour winds and may cause some trouble for Baja, and who knows, maybe by the early stages of next week we might get a few clouds as a result of Flossie. And as we get home, just a few scattered showers in the California desert and, of course, in northwestern Arizona, but none here in southern Nevada. Temperature-wise, again, another hot, hot day throughout Las Vegas. Uh, we saw 100 teens. In fact, some of those numbers still there near eastern in Charleston and also northeastern parts of Las Vegas. The highs today ranged anywhere from 109 in the northwest to 116 across the valley. It was 115 in Henderson and 111 at the airport, making it the 17th straight day the high temperature has been above average. The difference in pressure between this high over the four corners and this front moving into the Pacific Northwest is going to kick up the wind. We'll really feel it again tomorrow afternoon with gusts as high as 30 miles per hour, and that sort of shears off the top of the clouds. So other than a few clouds, we'll stay rather dry and breezy and very warm yet again tomorrow. Here's our feature photo. Comes to us courtesy of Ed Hellenbrand of Las Vegas. His attempt to cool us off. A little snow from Mount Charleston, Ed. Thank you so much for sending that to us. The forecast tonight will have another one of those records for the warmest low. We're only going down to 87. That's wild. Tomorrow, more sunshine, a little wind in the afternoon, a high temperature of 109. Watch out for a few of those gusts over 30 miles per hour, and those temperatures pretty much stay between 105 and 110 right through the weekend. Quick comment about the wind. Once the air temperature is above 98.6 and that hot air is blowing on you, it actually makes you feel warmer rather than the wind having any type of cooling effect. I learned something today. A little weather trivia for I you I misspoke there. earlier. Oh, no, 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 no problem. No, no, that's you, good. We learned something about okay. that. Good. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks. And still to come, those offers you get in the mail for credit cards seem like great deals. But before you sign up, read the fine print. Some words of warning next in 8 on your side. a stampede going on at Chapman's Las Vegas Dodge, the regional factory outlet. Now! Now! This is bigger than a sale. It's a Ram truck rampage. Chapman Dodge has got Nevada's largest selection of Dodge trucks and they're priced to sell now. Regular cabs, club cabs, V6s, V8s, V10s, Cummins turbo diesels, 4x4s, lots of options or just plain work trucks. Chapman's got them all on sale now. Chapman's Las Vegas Dodge, Boulder Highway, south of Sahara. At Longford communities all across the valley, let's add a guest room. I mean, I people are literally designing their own homes through a revolutionary process. Try a three car garage. Oh, how about a rec room? Hey, we'll get a pool table. It lets them visualize hundreds of floor plan variations before construction begins. Now, make the kitchen bigger and it'll be perfect. To magically create the homes of their dreams. Longford Homes. It's a revolution of choice. Well, this is it. This is where we start. Finally. Just the two of us, alone. <laughs> the big picture. It's the little things. 
Let's be kids again. Seize the day. Plan for the future. Whether you're starting out or starting over, everyone's at home with Ethan Allen. Come in and see what's on sale. Time. Time is precious. What's the rush? In aid on your side tonight, the federal government is taking steps to protect air travelers in the United States from terrorism. Transportation Secretary Federico Pena today announced stricter security measures at the nation's airports. Authorities say airport security moves to level two, not as strict as the level four measures employed during the Gulf War. Pena says there's been no specific threat, but says the new measure will guard against possible criminal or terrorist acts. Railroads, mass transit, and cruise ships are also being asked to review security precautions. In the meantime, the Air Transport Association suggests that airline passengers take these precautions to make their trip as smooth as possible. Arrive at the airport early to allow time for delays caused by tighter security. Make sure all luggage, both check-in and carry-on, is tagged with the passenger's name. Never leave luggage unattended or under the watch of a stranger and carry a photo ID at all times. Employees are putting the final touches on what some say will be Las Vegas' largest entertainment store. The multimedia store WOW opens for Business Friday on West Sahara. If you're someone who likes to try out something before buying it, this new store will let you do that. All the entertainment systems, CD-ROM software, and compact disc can be tested before buying. WOW's employees are also excited about their slot machine that doubles as a big screen TV. A lot of the you know, new artists that are coming out, we're going to be playing their videos. We're going to have sporting events. We're going to have, you know, a lot of interesting things on that video wall. And if you look from Sahara, you can see this video wall at nighttime, and it's a pretty spectacular sight. Wow. Fox <laughs> says they'll be ready for the grand opening Friday at noon. Wow is jointly owned by Tower Records and Books and the Good Guys Audio Video Company. You may be tempted by those offers of low interest rates and generous credit lines that come in the mail, but Consumer Reports says you should think twice before signing on. David Phillips reports. We spend more than $500 billion a year with credit cards, and the banks that issue them are competing hard to get our business. That brings Consumer Reports plenty of mail. People often ask us if these credit card offers are as good as they seem. Usually, the fine print shows they're too good to be true. For instance, this mailing from Prudential Bank announcing what it calls a credit card breakthrough. They offer a low 7.9% initial interest rate. But the fine print says come November, the rate jumps way up to 14.9% or more. That same card comes with no annual fee in the first year, but Consumer Reports says that's nothing special. Usually, you can do a lot better. Seven out of ten credit cards now come with no annual fee ever. And there's the high credit line come on, like this one from Visa Gold, up to $25,000 credit line. Sounds great, but that much credit is not guaranteed. Chances are the credit line you get will be a lot smaller. So, says Consumer Reports, don't say yes to a new credit card offer unless it's really a good deal. Look for a card with no annual fee. Look for an introductory rate that lasts a year. And look for these interest rates, no more than 9% introductory, no more than 13% long-term. This is David Phillips. That 13% suggested maximum rate is based on the prime rate. That's the lowest interest rate the nation's banks charge on their loans to their top corporate customers. Consumer Reports says your credit card rate should be no more than 4 to 5 percentage points higher than prime. I'll have to check out my cards. One thing for sure, I have too many cards. It's important yeah. to make sure you're getting a you good bet, deal. Yeah. Still ahead tonight, you could call a basic training for budding archaeologists. Up next, we'll take you to the Utah desert for a field trip into the past. During the 20th century, the battles have raged. On playing fields across the nation, teams and individuals have fought to dominate their foes. Even today, the spirit of competition lives on. One Las Vegas sports anchor is ready to take on any man, woman, or child. Can such a man ever rise to the top of his game? Not likely. The Great Scott Awards, Wednesday at 6.30 on Channel 8's Eyewitness News. Only one Toyota dealer is easy to get to and easy to deal with. Just off the expressway on Sahara near Boulder Highway. During our hot Toyota clearance sale, a new Tercel is only $9,988 or just $99 per month. Or enjoy a tough Tacoma sport truck, now $11,988 or just $129 per month. 
get them while they're hot. Toyota's hot, hot, Fletcher Jones Toyota, East Sahara, near Boulder Highway. Welcome to our temple of dreams. Welcome to the world of effects. It's a magic world where the rules do not apply. It's a brand new world where any dream can fly. Starring Michael Crawford at the MGM Grand. There's a change in the air at Meadows Mall. We've changed our look and changed our pace. We've changed the scene with a bright new look and exciting new stores. We're changing with the times. Come see the changes. They're just a type you'll love. Discover the all new Meadows Mall. You'll love the changes in our center. Come celebrate our changes all through the month of August with a chance to win fabulous prizes. Long before any of us ever set foot here in the Southwest, other people called this place home. The Native Americans made their living off of the land, and now some of that, now that same land, is telling about their lives. Caroline Blakely reports from Hurricane, Utah. This, uh, this is a field school. Um, so we're actually teaching students how to do archaeology. The curious come to see what the noise is all about. Jenna Beebe is a business planner by afternoon and an archaeologist in the morning. This is too neat. This one um, looks like it was pretty big if it's the same as this, and it could be... Um, like a water jug or something like that. More than 1,000 years ago, this was home for two or three families of Anasazi, the ancient ones. The Anasazi were the prehistoric inhabitants of much of the Southwest, and in particular, this area is called the Virgin Anasazi Territory because it's along the Virgin River. Um, this is the westernmost group of Anasazi. You have to use your imagination when looking at this. This is the floor, and these are the walls. This was used for food storage, sort of like a modern-day pantry. It's like piecing together a big, dirty puzzle. And the answer may be found in, of all places, the garbage. You think of all the stuff that you use in your daily life. Uh, what might it say about you if somebody went through your garbage? Well, that's the same thing with us, except it's a thousand years old or 10,000 years old, or in, in the old world, it can be half a million years old. It's just, I don't know, it gets in your blood, I guess. <laughs> it's not quite Egypt, but it's our version, I guess. I, I think people need to know that things in the past weren't always like they are today, you that's know, right. that things were a lot different back then. You bet, thanks for stopping by. Caroline Blakely, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. The dig is being sponsored by UNLV and the Desert Research Institute. The land belongs to a developer who plans to eventually build homes on the site. Gotta love dirt, though, right? It Lots looks of interesting dirt. out there. Well, stay with us. Eyewitness News at 6.30 with Juana and George Knapp is up next. Here's a look at some of the stories we'll have. Coming up in the next half hour, the story of a couple's battle to save their child. Their efforts may lead to a breakthrough that could help others deal with a deadly disease. Also ahead, no one would knowingly buy counterfeit merchandise, but chances are you've been ripped off buying bogus goods. It's a $200 billion business you need to be aware of. And it may not bring back Major League Baseball to prominence, but it's sure making an impression in Florida. Stay with us. Eyewitness News at 6.30 is next. You're watching Channel 8, people you can count on to bring you closer to the people, places, and events that matter to you. This is Channel 8's Eyewitness News at 6.30 with Juana Hart and George Knapp. Good evening. Rock legend Jerry Garcia, leader of the Grateful Dead Band, died today of an apparent heart attack. The 53-year-old Garcia was at a drug rehab center at the time of his death. 
he and his band became a fixture in Las Vegas over the past few years, attracting tens of thousands of deadheads who pumped an estimated $26 million per year into the local economy. In all likelihood, the band will no longer tour. The Dead recently celebrated its 30th year as a band and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Radio stations across the U.S. were overwhelmed with requests to hear some of the Dead singers' classic tunes. A station in Seattle even started a Grateful Dead crisis line. Do you know if anybody from the Grateful Dead died? It was Jerry Garcia. No way. Yes, way. Oh, my God. Will you play some Grateful Dead? Well, here in Las Vegas, KKLZ was no different. A steady flow of calls from Nevadans wanting to hear more of the Grateful Dead came in. A writer is distressed over the disappearance of his son in Arizona. Author Dominic Dunn is covering the Simpson trial for Vanity Fair and commenting on the trial on KCBS News. His 38-year-old son, Alex Dunn, has been missing since Friday when he traveled with a friend to visit his mother in Nogales, Arizona. Authorities say they have no clues regarding the younger Dunn's whereabouts. Police in Washington State are searching for the mother of a two-month-old girl with Down syndrome who was abandoned at a hospital. Police say a woman dropped the baby off Tuesday morning with a note attached saying she couldn't care for the child. Police say they have a possible first name for the mother and a name for the baby. No further information is being released to the public until the investigation is over. One of the country's most notorious deadbeat dads was in court today in Vermont. His is the first case in that state since Congress made it a federal crime to avoid child support payments. Pablo Guzman has the story. Not only the responsibility to pay, but when someone continues to have great success and flaunts that success while they're not paying, I found that quite despicable. Marilyn That's Kane, difficult. formerly Marilyn Nichols, has been fighting on behalf of her three children with Jeffrey Nichols since 1990, fighting to collect child support payments from the Wall Street Commodities Advisor, who earns at least $400,000 a year and who has switched homes, kept in his second wife's name, jumping from New York to Canada to Florida to Vermont in an apparent attempt to stay ahead of collection efforts. Nichols was eventually grabbed by the FBI in Vermont. The FBI action is a high-profile attempt to illustrate the child support problem. In February, President Clinton signed an executive order directing heads of government agencies to find 105,000 deadbeats who duck child support or avoid paternity tests. In New York State, there are an estimated 380,000 outstanding child support cases. An estimated 350,000, or 92 percent, are deadbeats. Marilyn Nichols Kane says all these disputes should be put in perspective. And I think it's very important for women not to pursue the men if they only are behind every now and then, or a few hundred dollars, or a few thousand dollars. The man is entitled to get on with his life, but when they are so blatantly and fragrantly spending money and having enormous credit card accounts and driving a Mercedes and buying houses in the most prestigious areas in the town, that's maddening. The use of the FBI to make deadbeat dad arrests is part of Janet Reno's campaign to crack down on fathers who won't pay. A Pittsburgh man went on a bizarre rampage with a badge, no less. Michael liked took anything, but looked anything rather, but official during his arraignment today for impersonating a public servant. Police say liked was driving this car when he posed as a policeman, put a prostitute in his car, and shot her. The car used in the shooting was that of a part-time officer who had loaned it to liked. Police found the car and blood stains linking it to the shooting. Like is now a suspect in two other police impersonation incidents as well. A former Pennsylvania man who's been convicted of killing and chopping up his wife, then using a paint bucket to take her body to their Arizona home, was sentenced today to 22 years in prison. Charles Yingling received the maximum sentence after pleading guilty to second-degree murder. Prosecutors say he cut up his 40-year-old wife in the bathtub of their home and disposed of her body parts throughout Western Phoenix. Oregon officials are searching for leaks today, leaks that are costing them a precious resource, water. Leak detectors were out in full force hoping to find damaged pipes that are draining this town's reservoir. They're looking at one major break that's leaking at a rate of 60 gallons per minute. Until it's found, residents are under a water conservation order. Another water leak has the local office of the Special Olympics in shambles. Workers there are wondering how they can prepare for upcoming special events while trying to clean up the damage. A water line on the upper floor leaked for several hours before anyone noticed. When Special Olympics workers discovered it, they were devastated. 
it was water all over the floors. It went through all the ceilings. Um, the ceilings came down on everything. It ran our fax machine. We the leak also wiped out 11 computers, a copy machine, training manuals, and most phones. Special Olympians are already training for basketball and bowling events set to take place in November, so the leak could not come at a worse time. If you'd like to help, you can call the 8 line for more information. When you're zipping down the freeway, do you ever wonder if your brakes are really your brakes, or are they counterfeit? Coming up, we'll find out how legislators are cracking down on counterfeit goods. And we'll find out why this teenager is racing against death and how her family plans to win. It's Warehouse Closeout 95. 95 Tacoma trucks, just $99 a month. And we'll give you a top dollar for your trade. Toyota West, the Toyota Warehouse. Go for the price. Joe's approach to the law is that your client comes first. I've known John um, before he even started practicing law. He's tough-minded enough to go against the other side and, and get the job done. John is very successful at what he does. I think people see Joe as somebody who's there to help them. I assign a case to John. Uh, I know that that client uh, is going to be very well taken care of. Benson and Bertoldo, a team every step of the way. Sandwiches taste better when somebody else makes them. But you gotta make it with good stuff, like Healthy Choice Cold Cuts. There's less salt, only one gram of fat. So with Healthy Choice, I can eat what I like. Call me picky. Just don't call me late for lunch. <laughs> I want healthy. They want hot dogs. hot dogs. Lucky for me, Healthy Choice makes hot dogs. Healthy Choice has much less fat. These guys love them. They eat what they like, and I like what they eat. Listen up, bargain hunters. Desert GMC truck setters repeat by popular demand this incredible factory authorized sale. We call it a total van sale. With $1,500 factory rebates on every full-size van conversion, plus a four-day, three-night vacation with every van sold. Over 50 van conversions must be sold, full-size and minivans. So triple your chances for saving thousands of dollars at Desert GMC Truck Center's three convenient locations. Don't miss $1,500 rebates. Come on over. You're in the driver's seat at Desert GMC Truck Center's. Channel 8 Auto Box is here. Win cash prices weekly in your choice of nine exciting new cars. Call 792-1473 for details on how and where to enter. Looks to me like the perfect place to build an island. Ever heard the rhetorical question, is the Pope Catholic? Well, yes, he is, and he's firmly opposed to birth control. But you wouldn't know it from these posters circulating in Britain. They show the Pope and the so-called 11th commandment, thou shalt always wear a condom. Catholics in Britain are blowing gaskets over this ad, which was circulated by the British Safety Council. The council admits it did it on purpose to stimulate debate over birth control. The feds in Washington are cracking down on crooks who are creating counterfeit goods, from parts that piece together jets to counterfeit brake pads and even toys. Some of the fakes can be dangerous, but those that aren't are still costing legitimate U.S. businesses an estimated $200 billion a year. In some cases, even the experts can't tell counterfeit products from the real ones just by looking at them. Proposed legislation aims to put counterfeiters under federal anti-racketeering laws. Doctors have more bad news for baseball great Mickey Mantle. His cancer has spread beyond his lungs, and doctors say his condition is now serious. Mantle has asked that no further medical details be released, but in a statement he says he is spending time with his family and to let all of his friends know he's still fighting. A couple's fight for a cure to their daughter's mysterious illness has led to a medical breakthrough. Scientists have determined the cause of a fatal neurological disease known as AT. Drew Grinnan explains how a determined family helped with that discovery. This is a good study, but a Herculean disease. And the disease is called AT. You've probably never heard of it because so few people have it. But in this lab at UCLA and two others like it across the world, Scientists hunting for a cure just got a heck of a lot closer. It was identified, identified. about um, two months ago. Dr. Richard Gaddy's work made headlines. Isolating the AT gene could help predict breast cancer. Could tell who's more susceptible to radiation exposure. Major steps in cancer research. And there's one person to thank. Got it. Rebecca Smith, a courageous, intelligent, and disabled Calabasas teenager who was diagnosed with AT long before an AT foundation ever existed. Okay, cowgirl, 
It was 1984. George yeah. Smith went to the National Institutes for Health to see what was being done to solve the AT problem. The frustration was uh, they were courteous, uh, they were caring, but what they said is with the limited money that NIH has to fund research, they have to do it where they think they'll get the biggest bang for the buck. That was 12 years ago, and the Smith family had two choices. Come back to L.A. and do nothing, or do what they did. If no one else was searching for a cure to Rebecca's disease, they would. They raised the money, they built this lab, they hired Dr. Gaddy, and they are getting awfully close. Once we have the function of the gene, of course, we can begin to figure out where it doesn't work. The problem is time. The Smiths don't have a lot of it. AT patients only live until their 30s. Everyone here understands that and are doing more than just hoping for a cure. It's the first step of hopefully a miracle. A miracle this girl and her family are determined to see through. And let's hope they do. Local neurologists say a very small percentage of children here in Las Vegas have the disease. Kevin Janison joins us now. Kevin, I'll tell you, I was out and about in the wind and the heat, and I was wilted by about 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we were all dead meat the way things are going. Well, there's more hot and dry air. In fact, a lot of wind, too. We'll recap our forecast, George, and take a look around at what's going on in the rest of the country when we come back. Introducing Chili's Frequent Diner Card. Every time you order a meal at Chili's, you earn points toward great free stuff, like free meals, free hotel accommodations, even free airline tickets. Best of all, the card's free. You even get a free dessert your next time through. So sign up for your Chili's Frequent Diner card today. I'm Charles Osgood, and I'd like to invite you to join me every morning in Las Vegas on KVU's radio for The Osgood File. Four different reports that come your way at 25 minutes past the hour, featuring a quick look from my perspective at people, places, and things in this old world. That's The Osgood File, weekday mornings here on the News Oasis in Las Vegas, KVU's AM 970. I'll see you on the radio. The Desert Inn presents Mickey Rooney and Juliet Prowse in Sugar Babies, the burlesque musical, produced by James Niederlander and Stan Seiden. Sugar Babies, the burlesque musical, on the Desert Inn's Crystal Room stage, with dinner shows nightly, except Monday, and now matinees Saturday and Sunday. Hailed across the country as a must-see show. Sugar Babies, call 733-4566 for reservations. When you drive, you want to enjoy it. You want reliability, lasting quality, style, and value. Introducing the most radical slick BMW ever, the BMW 318Ti. This is the BMW for everyone. The 318Ti, sort of an urbane version of a fun utility vehicle with panache. From 199 and available now at Chase and Motor Cars. But hurry, they're disappearing fast. We were doing so well through the third week of July, and since then, everything's gone nuts here. Another very hot day in southern Nevada, our official high, 111. Areas in northern parts of the state in Salt Lake City, where they had temperatures in the 70s yesterday, jumped back into the 90s today. A cool front is approaching from the Pacific Northwest, so we'll be watching those numbers go down tomorrow. And that's the front that will kick up the wind here in southern Nevada tomorrow as well. A couple of hot spots. One, these storms that have been moving through Kansas today caused some trouble with wind gusts over 70 miles per hour. That line extends down through the Oklahoma Panhandle and into uh, just west of Lubbock right now and will continue to move to the east. Other storms of this hour moving south through Illinois and Indiana with 50 mile per hour winds and torrential rains. Right now they're around Evansville, Indiana, Owensboro, Kentucky and continuing to push south. And a strong thunderstorm has just fired up in the last hour down in New Orleans. In the west, all's quiet again except for a few scattered storms uh, west of Tucson and south of Phoenix. They were a little more prevalent in New Mexico, but we can't buy one here in the Las Vegas Valley. If you're heading out the door, you're going to be in the blow-dry mode right now. The temperature will be around 106 for the next couple of hours. Tomorrow morning, to begin your Thursday, can you believe it? By 8 a.m., the temperature will already be in the lower 90s. Shouldn't be too windy in the morning, but that wind will pick up in the afternoon. We're expecting a high of 109. There could be a couple of gusts over 30 miles per hour. 
and temperatures will pretty much level off there as we go through the weekend. Uh, not a tremendous amount of relief, but it's a psychological thing, you know? 107 just sounds better than 111. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Today, Nagasaki, Japan came to a standstill. Fifty years ago, Nagasaki was decimated by the second atomic bomb. In memory of the precise moment of detonation, sirens wailed, bells tolled, and prayers were offered by about 30,000 people assembled for a service near Ground Zero. About 70,000 people were killed by the explosion and its aftermath. Federal investigators say a plane crash that took 132 lives remains a mystery. The National Transportation Safety Board says the cause of last September's crash of a U.S. air jetliner near Pittsburgh is unknown. The Boeing 737 rolled to such an extent that the crew lost control. Tests will be conducted tomorrow to see if the plane was somehow affected by the wake of a jet flying four miles in front of it. Another mystery, why is the FBI refusing to release documents about the assassination of John Kennedy? An independent agency which is reviewing materials related to the assassination says the FBI will not release 15 documents related to the case. The papers contain classified information related to FBI contacts with foreign governments, but the Bureau won't say why it's keeping them under wraps. The matter has been sent to President Clinton for a decision. What happens when you lose your reservations? A baseball team from Venezuela found themselves with an unusual option. You guessed it, a nudist camp. That story straight ahead. It's hot. The sizzling summer savings going on right now at Fletcher Jones Mitsubishi. This special purchase brings you the Mitsubishi Galant, fully loaded with meaningful luxury. Zero down or only $2.29 per month. Check out the scorching deals on a Mitsubishi Eclipse. What $16,344. Now special purchase priced at only $13,929. Your hottest Mitsubishi savings are right now at Fletcher Jones Mitsubishi on Decatur and Alta. Sizzling summer savings ends Monday. There's an easier way to save water and save money on your water bill. Reducing your outdoor watering by just two minutes a day will save hundreds of gallons of water. Oh, and since you're adjusting your timer, you should also change your cycle to water between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. when there's less evaporation from the summer sun. Saving water. It's a grassroots effort that begins with all of us. I have very little news. This new Best Foods low-fat mayonnaise dressing has very little fat. Only one gram. But there's big news about taste. You won't believe that one gram of fat can taste so enormously rich, so colossally creamy, so hugely delicious. New Best Foods low-fat. Very little fat, very, whoa, big taste. Bring out the Best Foods and bring out the best. Now, some even hotter news from Las Vegas Honda. Just in from the Honda factory, the new 95 and a half Passport. Now it's all Honda with an exclusive new Honda interior. You've got to see it at Las Vegas Honda. Or, if you're looking for a more economical way to go, drive this mileage miser four-door Civic DX for only $69.88. From the place that's cutting the coolest deals in Nevada. A Washington man says he knows for a fact that Bigfoot is alive and well and living in the woods. Paul Freeman of Walla Walla insists he's seen B Bigfoot, he's heard Bigfoot, he's even smelled Bigfoot, which is not entirely pleasant. Freeman's basement is a Bigfoot museum, complete with hair samples, footprint casts, and other so-called evidence. A university professor who's examined some of the material says at least a bit of it is credible. Freeman and two friends say their latest encounter with Sasquatch came this weekend when they spotted two of the hairy creatures in the Blue Mountains. Hmm. In Florida, some teenage baseball players visiting from Venezuela are learning how to grin and bear it. Their team is back at the nudist camp that gave them a place to play last year when they had nowhere else to go. John Dutzman has this year's scouting report. <laughs> All kinds of fun things to do here, here at the Seminole Health Club. Guess that's why this baseball team from Venezuela likes the place so much. Or could it be something about the scenery here, the back to nature look? You see, this place they like so much is a nudist camp. We saw a naked man riding a bicycle here, and we started to laugh. It was very fun. Funny, huh? Yeah, yes, very funny. 
But the 14 and 15 year old boys don't snicker at this anymore. Once in a while you'll see a naked person. Yeah, we see them, but we never... It's like seeing them with clothes. Not a big deal. No, nothing. It was a big deal last year when they came here to play in a tournament. Last year, these kids were in big trouble. Their reservations got messed up. And at the last minute, the nudist camp came to the rescue. Well, the kids like what they saw. I mean, they like their accommodations so much, they just had to come back. We said, fine, as long as uh, uh, they know it's a nudist park and uh, that they might run into somebody sometime or another without their clothes. And to avoid these close encounters, the nudists have been staying away from the boys. The boys, who are chaperoned, by the way, keep their clothes on. Now, when you go back to, to, to Venezuela, you say, hey, we stayed at a nudist yeah. camp. <laughs> yes, huh? we do. Huh? Yeah, the parents don't say, wow, what's that? As the kids drive off to see a baseball game, the clothes come off at the camp. Time for a swing. A swim. Some horseshoes in the buff. But this one who wears horseshoes did not want to look. <laughs> to each his own. I could swear I saw something familiar in there. Did you notice it? Could, could we see that again, just for a second? Just a little bit of that? Roll that tape back. Yeah! Yes! I thought I recognized that person in the pool. Scott, you devil. I have hair on my back, so I know that wasn't me. It was a false impression there. When I was 14, a nudist camp would have been great until I saw all those people in there. Yikes. Anyway, tonight we got a brand spanking new Great Scott Award. That's coming up next in sports. It's like a skiing thing, I think. Whoa. I hate skiing. OK, just keep your knees bent, honey. My knees just are bent. Just bend your knees. They're bent. This is starting to feel very comfortable. Whoa. You look good. Thanks. Honey, Whoa. mailbox at 12 o'clock. Come on. Whoa. Dryers. Evidently, it's uh, not your normal ice cream. When you want a price that's really low, where do you go? Fletcher Jones Chevrolet Geo. Right now, you can double, double your Chevrolet rebate and save as much as $3,000. The choice is yours, like the high-mileage Geo Metro with double rebate savings only $113 per month, or the legendary Chevrolet Camaro, now only $199 per month. Double rebate savings ends Monday night. Fletcher Jones Chevrolet Geo. Circuit City's got unbeatable computer savings every day. And that means there's no better place to buy your new computer. Get unbeatable low prices on all the top brands. And right now, during Circuit City's Computer Expo and sale, get 0% interest for 90 days on every computer. Plus, get a free Windows 95 upgrade on every IBM-compatible computer. Like this compact multimedia computer with $1,200 software package, just $1,299.97 after $100 mail-in rebate. Now's the time to save. Hurry into Circuit City's Computer Expo and sale. Going on now. Tonight's sports is brought to you by Desert Orthopedic Center. The human skeleton, a hard-working network of bones, joints, and tendons. But the hard work your bones do can also lead to pain. Desert Orthopedic Center provides care for the bones of the body, repairing problems and preventing new ones. Desert Orthopedic Center is a group of 11 doctors, each an expert in all orthopedic injuries, with specialists in the hand, foot, and ankle, joint replacement, pediatrics, scoliosis, and sports injuries. Now with two locations, orthopedic care of the highest quality. Desert Orthopedic Center, call 731-4088. The ATP Championship is one of the few big tournaments and Andrew Ag... It's Andre. I should know that. Andre Agassi has never won. Agassi took on Daniel Vacek, who had an injured left eye. You'd think that would mean easy pickings for Andre. Hardly. Vacek fires a backhand down the line. Andre squeaked out the first set, 7-6. Things got better in the second set. Vacek's bullet fired back nicely. We go to match point now with Agassi serving. Andre moves on to the third round with a straight set win over Daniel Vacek. The spin doctors are working overtime for the third fight between Evander Holyfield and Riddick Bowe. That fight will directly compete with Mike Tyson's second fight. Today, Bowe and Holyfield hyped it up with Ben Franklin in Philly. He's a big guy. He's a hard puncher, and he 
and he throws a lot of combination and he's fight good for long range you know but you know with me i got to bring more you know the first fight i didn't fight the fight that i felt that i should uh the second fight i fought very aggressive and this third fight i got to fight even smarter Baseball today. The Giants and Marlins picked up wins. The Cubs and Padres were rained out. Yankees and O's. Bobby Bonilla led National League third baseman in errors last year. Today, a gem at the hot corner. Nice snag and the put up. Now, what about Daryl, you ask? Well, take a look at the heat. Up close and personal, Daryl. Straw's band of young hooligans visibly upset by the strikeout. Nice takedown, though. Cal Ripken. Led the hit parade for Baltimore. For Check Cal out at the plate as he cranks a drive. Deep. And out of the yard. And the Orioles roll. Final score, 7-2. to So I'm complaining to my wife about the dog days of summer. How there are no great Scott Award ideas. Well, she told me to make the bed. So I did. This week's Great Scott Award goes to Deborah Morris, a 10-year veteran of the Sands Housekeeping Department. Uh, Deborah's going to school me about the art of bed making today. Deborah, how do you compare now to when you first started? Oh, it's very easy now. Oh, really? Oh, very easy now, quick. I've had people leave their room, come back in a minute, and wonder how their bed was done. Is that right? Yeah. Just tell me one shortcut. Try to work from one side to the other. That's not much of a hint. Well, if I give you too much hint, you're going to win. <laughs> I'm not going to win, but, but we'll find out. Deborah, how about you and me take to the beds here, okay. and may the best bed maker win today. What do you say? Good. All right, Deborah. now before we can make the beds, we've got to mess them up. This is my bed. This is your bed. I'll mess up your bed. You mess up my bed, so we've got a fair contest. Fair enough? Fair enough. Hey, we're the monkeys, and people say we monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. All right, Deborah. I think we got the beds messed up. Yours is pretty well taken care of. Mine is, too. Let's come on over here. Don't get a head start on me. Let the contest begin, all right? a little shaky from that naked Scott picture before uh, <laughs> sports, but uh, yeah, no more bed making for me. As they say in the housekeeping business, no sheet. <laughs> no shoes, no service, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. All right, gotcha. Thanks, Scott. Mark Bradshaw is here with a look at some of the stories you will see here tonight at 11. Well, one of tonight's at 11, we'll have more local reaction to the death of Grateful Dead musician Jerry Garcia. He died today. And the federal government has plenty of control over all of us. Can you believe they even have control on the size of toilet they expect you to use in public facilities? We'll flesh that story out and have more stories tonight at 10 11. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Thank you for joining us tonight at 6.30. Entertainment Tonight is up next. Have a good evening. We'll see you tomorrow.